over the last week or two <clears throat> the temperature around here has really dropped um, we'd been sitting where we got down in the low 20s and we were doing all right around here um, you know in the mid 20s and we had just been filling our camper up with water uh, from a hose and using the tank so but recently we have it we uh, had a one night where it got down to negative three and we froze up pretty much all the water on the camper our tanks everything so been busy on the house finally getting around to doing some winterization on the camper you know to help us through the winter so i thought maybe i'd show you a few things that we are doing uh to so that we can live in this camper during the winter time so one problem we had here with the camper is, is keeping the water flowing out of the, the tank. Here below the fridge is where our water pump is. And what was happening on, on that end of the camper over there is where the suction line, the fill line, and the vent line, and everything go to the water tank. Well, the water tank actually has a little bit of insulation around it, but it was letting air in on the sides. So we had to insulate the sides. We kind of put some insulation in there. Uh, we filled up a lot of gaps with spray foam underneath and then we opened up this access panel uh, a blow dryer really helped uh, thaw things out blowing a, I had to cut the hole out a little bit bigger to where the hoses go down so I could help get a blow dryer down in there and that helped thaw it out and then just leaving this panel off here is helping uh, keep that area warm enough not to freeze one other problem we've had is in the bathroom so the bathroom, the water lines actually go, turn the light on, the water lines actually go under this vanity and they are right along the outside wall where they'll freeze. So we've had to open this access panel up as well to help keep that area warm. And then the trap for the, the uh, tub, the drain trap under here was freezing. So we had to insulate inside of here and there was an access panel here as well and we've left that off to help make sure that the drain on the tub doesn't freeze. Now here in the camper to heat it, uh, there is a furnace down here under this grate. Uh, and the furnace was uh, not working at the beginning. I did uh, take it apart and clean it out. There was a mud dauber's nest on the inside and it worked for a few weeks. And uh, now the furnace doesn't seem to want to stay lit. So uh, that is a problem that needs fixed. But for right now, there is two 15 amp circuits inside of this camper. So we've got an uh, electric heater on one circuit, and then we've got this other electric heater, this heater I've had since I've owned this camper, uh, on this other circuit. And we've got one set at 750 watts, and the other one set at 1500 watts. And that'll pretty much keep the camper warm on most days. And then we have this buddy heater. We got hooked to a 20-pound propane tank. And uh, if we need to bring the temperature up, if the, the electric heaters ain't keeping up, uh, this buddy heater we can kick on and it'll help uh, bring the inside of the camper up to a, a better temperature. Also, as far as propane is concerned, I've got five of these 20 pound tanks. So we can, we can uh, exchange those out. And if I ran this on low continuously, I'm gonna get about five days out of a tank, somewhere around four to five days out of a tank if I run that propane heater continuously on low. Um, also, I've got the two 30-gallon propane tanks for the camper. So I've got plenty of extra tanks to swap out uh, if I need to. But uh, mostly we're running this just to keep the, to bring the, the camper back up to temperature. Um, if it's not very cold, then the electric heaters uh, should keep up. On the outside of the camper, we've put 25 straw bales all the way around the camper and we any other areas that a bale won't fit we've just packed in loose straw to help fill in all the gaps to keep uh, any air any cold air from getting under the camper now i think that this has worked out pretty good we, we were down to three degrees last night and all our water stayed on everything stayed working so so far the straw bales have helped insulate uh well and hopefully it'll keep doing that way we got a uh, forecasted minus seven degrees coming up here in a couple days so that'll be the true test to see whether this actually holds in the cold weather 
Now when our camper really froze up that first negative three degree night, I mean everything froze up and it was going to take a lot to get it unfrozen. So what we ended up doing is we bought one of these kerosene style forced air heaters and uh, as I was reading on it and everything it says that it actually work with multiple fuels and it'll work with diesel fuel. Then I already keep diesel fuel so I thought what the heck I'll go ahead and buy it. It's uh, only 50,000 BTUs. Uh, this is one of the the probably the smaller type of these you know a lot of them go a lot hotter than this but uh, so what we did is we took this heater and we blew it in the back of the camper uh, before we had any straw bales in the back and we just kept kept that on there for a couple hours to so the whole underside of the camper got warm it uh, helped thaw everything out and we got everything going again so that was uh that really helped us you know get back to to everything working then we went ahead and packed the straw bales in on the back side now if it ever freezes again the plan is i'm just going to take a couple of these side bales out so that i can have access to the, to the bottom side and we'll take this forced air uh, kerosene heater and we'll just blow that under the camper and the, and the tanks are on this back side anyway and all the water mostly so we'll just blow it under here after removing a couple bales and it'll warm it up under there and hopefully we'll be able to thaw everything back out again uh, if we freeze up again. Now all these straw bales around the camper, they were pretty expensive, I'll be honest with you. You go and you go buy these um, from like a farm store, you're going to be paying premium dollar for these straw bales. And I was kind of in, uh, you know, reactionary mode. Uh, in the future, if homesteading here, I definitely got to find a farmer that I can get these from at a cheaper price. But in the end, I think we're gonna be able to reuse these straw bales either for bedding and uh, also where we're building our house, we're gonna to have to have tons of grass planted around the, uh, the house when we do our dirt work. And we should be able to use this around the grass seed to help germinate the seed and cover the seed with. So I think we will be able to repurpose this straw uh, this summer anyway. So it's not a total waste of money. So instead of leaving the water hydrant hooked to the camper, all we do is we hook, we uh, fill the camper up uh, about every day with water. So we have our hose here, and what we do is is we just lay it all the way down the hill, and it will drain out the water so that it doesn't freeze with water in it. And um, so every day we'll fill up our camper, and then we'll unhook it, and we'll redrain the hose so that we can use it again the next day. And so far that's working pretty good. So yeah. As long as you use a hose in the wintertime, as long as you drain the water out of it, uh, you should be good. And then we're just using the tanks, and uh, they hold 30 gallons of water, so that can actually get us a couple days if needed. So overall, I think I've got the camper pretty well prepared for some cold weather. It's uh, gone now for three or four days with these straw bells around it, and that has really helped, and we've had no issues so far. But like I said, we got some... Uh, negative seven degree night coming up here in a couple nights and that'll be the real the real true test on whether we're going to keep on being able to live in this camper during the winter time so wish us luck uh, i do still need to get the furnace fixed at some point in time uh, but right now we've got enough different ways to heat our camper if we need to uh, that we should be okay so thanks for watching